Well, from the start there were two working groups. The working group of Arrhythmias and I was uh, elected as the chair of that one. And we also had the working group of Pacing and Panos Vardas was the chair of that working group. We had to decide if we had to go to a new, large, new entity. Sticking together is always better. And so the discussion started, uh, how should we merge the working groups? And the two working groups decided that they could be stronger and collaborate better by creating one association. I think that a very important uh, part of the activity that we did was to partner with the largest uh, uh, societies of electrophysiology in, in the world. We started some uh, uh, very important projects at that moment just to make sure that ERA was having a very fundamental presence in Europe in terms of how to scientifically, professionally and academically speak about uh, electrophysiology and arrhythmias in Europe. Equally important and equally challenging was to create relationship internally with the national societies of arrhythmia and electrophysiology. So we're really trying to work locally and think globally. That was the foundation of this strategy. Over the years, we have developed to a model where we have set up an educational framework. That framework means that ERA provides theoretical courses on pacing and on invasive electrophysiology. And apart from these theoretical courses, we affiliate practical courses that are given in the educational institutes of the industry. We have set up all this information on our website, so young fellows can easily find which courses they can attend next to what ERA provides itself. So now we have a very nice, complete program that prepares young electrophysiologists for the accreditation exams. Europace, I think, is the voice of the European Heart Rhythm Association and it provides for the membership a, a definite benefit. Increased communication, increased knowledge, increased information, not only about the association, of course, but also about the subject that the association is concerned with. In other words, cardiac arrhythmias and the management of patients who suffer from these conditions. It started as a, as a tool to, uh, to understand the reality in all countries and to direct all our activities to the, to the places where it's most needed and not to talk above the heads of the people. The White Book has now uh, already some additions and is uh, renewed every year and is a very important issue for the knowledge of what is happening in Europe and how this is progressing because we have the information at the very beginning, now we can compare all this information. I think it's important that we exchange and communicate with our partners worldwide because we are facing the same problems. Sudden cardiac death is an unresolved problem, North America, South America, Asia and with us as well. Atrial fibrillation, how to improve implant therapy. So we have the same challenges and it's a good task to learn from each other. Within ERA, we identified uh, disparities in uh, healthcare, in specialized healthcare across the Europe. And Eastern European countries or emerging markets are the worst uh, in Europe. One of my priorities has been to aggressively go to, uh, 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 to these countries, to these, uh, uh, or to see uh, my colleagues working in that field and to provide them with the best support, which means talking to the governments, talking to other uh, colleagues. And we launched a campaign uh, on sudden cardiac death called the ICD for Life initiative. And uh, all these countries were invited to participate and prepare their national projects to fight sudden cardiac death and increase the rate of uh, ICD implants in those countries. 
we have been quite successful in, uh, in engaging the dialogue with our national partners and we have now a very good communication and bi-directional communication with them and we have several sessions and each national level uh, at each national society meeting which is done jointly with ERA. I personally believe that we have to improve our political influence uh, in the context of talking to European Parliament. The one way is uh, to uh, advise them what is important uh, in arithmology, how we can improve uh, and uh, protect patients' care uh, in the future. Well, ERA is an organization from professionals and for professionals. Actually, ERA is, uh, is the absolute uh, super add-on to my, to my work. And uh, where you have the chance by profession to, to learn so many people, to get to know so many countries. It's true. I am very proud uh, looking nowadays how ERA is doing. I feel very much justified because ERA is doing so many things and especially because European arithmologists and European cardiologists are working together. My philosophy, my political philosophy as past president of ERA but also as current ESC president is how to keep the unity of the European cardiologists under the umbrella of the European Society of Cardiology. We need unity. Together, we could make much more. It's brilliant. I would say, uh, in a words, would be, I'm very, very optimistic. ERA is um, the strongest uh, society in Europe to represent uh, arithmology. We have to advise patients, we have to advise authorities uh, how to deal uh, with sudden cardiac death and, of course, how to prevent it uh, in the future.